scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey, hey everybody. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to, to an all new trying to Pretty much in unison there. Welcome to an all new trendy and C. He's uh, trendy. I'm C. Uh, today we have another Indian whiskey. We have covered several Indian whiskeys, maybe more than most other reviewers. I think so. It's actually kind of nice that they're somewhat occasionally available for us here, or yeah. we meet people that, uh, like at the last Couch and Whiskey Festival, yeah. gave us a couple of little samples That's right. like this. So we're looking forward to dig right into this Antiquity Blue Ultra Premium Whiskey. That's right. So we have... A nice blue bottle. That's a cool bottle for sure. Um, from the side, it looks like a guy with like <laughs> his chest kind of. I was gonna say it. from this angle, it kind of looks like <laughs> something, <laughs> something else. A little bit different. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, kind of a funky bottle. Funky is one way to put it. Blue glass. What I like about it that it says it's a luxury blend. Yes. And then it also says antiquity blue ultra premium whiskey. So this ultra. Premium. Is a blend. Yes. So it has Indian malt in it, Scotch malt, and grain whiskey. Cool. Uh, so, <clears throat> what you have to understand with Indian whiskeys is that you've got. Oh, did that come off? Really? Probably not. It's that usual oh. stupid. Thing. <laughs> um, what you've got to understand is that you've got the single malts, and then you've got the blends. Yes. Two very different categories uh the single malts from india are quite good uh in our experience yes and the blends need to be kind of judged on their own merit because they are a notch below the single malts well and they are like they almost sometimes don't even behave like a whiskey specifically you yeah. know where the, the single malts like amrut and paws on yeah are excellent yes you know um, and, and then, then these, these ones can be like, um, molasses distilled. Almost rum-like. Yeah, somewhat yeah. rum-like in ways. Okay. So, uh, we've tasted this once before. And it has a it has kind of a fruity hint of scotch kind of nose to it. It definitely has that blend style, like scotch mm. blend style to it. Yeah. But it has, it's a little bit... It does have like that little bit of like the malty kind of yeah. smells that you get from a blend. Some sweetness scotch. for sure. Definitely the sweet. A little bit, somewhat herbal or um, even kind of soapy. A little soapy, even like kind of like uh, probably not corn, but there's a sweetness on there mm. that's it's that malt familiar. Sweetness. Yeah. Um, but overall, it's got a pretty fragrant nose for a blend. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm getting quite a bit out of it. Like, it's got a, a fairly uh, powerful nose. Yeah, what, what's the percentage on this? Yeah, I was just going to say, this one is bottled at 42.8%. Okay, so it's a little bit higher than the usual Standard 40. 40. Yeah. Should we get right into it? Yeah, let's try it. I don't even want to say a little bit like of cinnamon almost. Or something yeah, there's, like there's that. There's definitely you know, like, like, like spice, spices on yeah. there. Maybe not cinnamon, but... It's not exactly tropical like you get from some of these... Uh... It's very unique. Yeah. It's unique, but has some familiarity to it. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's do this. Kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I, it's hard to pinpoint this one because it's... Not exactly um, like a blend that you tried from Scotland, mm -hmm. um, but it's kind of trying to mimic it a little bit, but it's got a little bit of heat on it too. Yeah, it's a bit bitter and a bit sweet at the same time, and then it finishes with some heat and some like pepper, mm -hmm. like a bit of a black pepper kind of hotness yeah. to it. There is a, a sizzle heat at the end there. It's somewhat unrefined in that the... It's a little bit rough around the edges. Mm -hmm. But the sweetness, the sweet flavors are are quite nice. Yeah. I've definitely tasted um, whiskeys that are way worse. Oh, 
Oh, sure. You know, um, so not not bad at all. No, but I mean, I don't. I'm not exactly sure what this runs you in cost. Right. You know, in India, so um, I know with something like After Dark, this competes with like Royal Challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, um, a little less chocolatey than Royal Challenge. Though. I think. For, if memory serves me correctly, I think I prefer Royal Challenge to this one. Yeah, Royal Challenge has a little bit of a chocolate kind of malt to mm -hmm. it. This so, is not firing on all cylinders for me right now. But, um, like I said, we've tried so much whiskey before yeah. in our time that it's kind of like hard to sometimes really... You have to really wow a person when you make a blend. Because yeah. it's got to be something specifically different. Like, this would be more of a, like, um, a cocktail whiskey, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, like, this would actually be probably pretty good with a scotch and soda stuff. I was going to say, yeah. yeah, soda water. Yeah. Maybe a, you know, a lime or something like yeah. that, you know. Yeah, yeah, But, um, yeah, like, it's it's drinkable. It's, it's just, it's not great. No. But, interesting enough, and it's, it's nice mm. that when people give us some samples of different things, um... And cool looking bottle, very different, very unique. A little bit of that kind of um, plasticky uh, flavor on the finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, kind of some of these blends have a, they're almost like a, basically like a vodka in some ways, like mm. the sweetness behind them, but. And like that, like you said, a rummy even too. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> uh, it's not, it's not great, but it's good cocktailing. I mean, you could, you could sip on it, but there are probably better options. It's not going to blow, blow your socks off or yeah. whatever, but, uh, it's cool to try. If you get somebody giving you a sample of it, put it in the memory bank and you'll have right. something to compare. Put it in your whiskey library. Yeah. All right. Well, that's about all we got for today. <laughs> that's a review. That's right. <laughs> so subscribe, click like, leave a comment and, uh, check out another video we've got lots of uh, other indian whiskeys on our channel just search search in our video section see if you can find what you're looking for yeah cool okay cheers all right drinking whiskey describing all the flavors for you and me irish scotch bourbon and rye if they like a bottle they'll tell you why subscribe on youtube